there anything more comforting than stewed apple? I'm going to show you how to make a really simple stewed apple dish that you can just store in the fridge and eat whenever you like. Perfect for breakfast or just a little late night treat. Now it starts off with some apples, but you can actually use any seasonal fruit. Don't want that lemon there. The lemon in the water just helps keep them nice and fresh so they don't go brown either. Now don't worry if a bit of excess water goes in there. We might even need some of that. So here we go with those. Now it does need a little bit of liquid just to help it stew in its own juices. It's naturally very sweet. But I'm going to help it along with a third of a cup of water. And I'm going to sweeten it up with one orange juice as well. Now you can use lemon and you can use like apple juice or orange juice from the carton as well. But of course, from the natural source, as fresh as possible, is what us nutritionists are always trying to teach you. So we'll get all of that juice out of there. The, all the sweetness of the apple is going to come out as well. That's a great thing about heating fruit. So in we go with the juice. I have a cinnamon stick here as well, which gives it that lovely smell, that lovely aroma and that gorgeous taste. And a bit of ginger as well. I do feel like this is a bit of a, a winter dish, but you can actually have this one all the way through the seasons. Bit of ginger there. In we go. So we just want to put it on a nice, slow kind of simmer, about 20 to 30 minutes, just so it stews down a little bit, and then we can put it in the fridge. They have stewed up nicely. We'll just make sure we get that cinnamon stick out. I let them cool down because I know that I'm going to have excess and I'm going to keep it in the fridge. So in we go with this one. Just dish up a few. I have some coconut yogurt just here. Pairs so beautifully. I think any yogurt with stewed fruit is beautiful. And I've got some slithered almonds here as well to so just add a little crunch and texture in there. Now I have some left here. So the great thing is, is I have the Ingenio pan where I can just take the handle off, put that lovely lid on there, and that can just go in the fridge and we can tuck into it whenever we feel like it. So into the fridge we go with this one. Now of course I've got to have a taste. Mm. It just falls apart cinnamon in it, absolutely gorgeous. What an absolute refreshing little delight this one is.